The U.S. is piling fresh sanctions against Iran in a bid to crank up the pressure over the country's nuclear activities. The actions target companies accused of breaching a European ban on buying oil from Tehran. Let's talk more about this now. We'll uh, speak to Patricia De Gennaro, professor of politics at New York University. Patricia, hi there. Thanks for being on RT. Um, with pressure mounting on Tehran, uh, now a, a top Indian company has agreed to provide insurance for the tankers carrying oil from Iran. How is that going to impact the effectiveness of the sanctions then? Well, those tankers need to have insurance. As soon as they stop having the insurance, they're going to be turned away or not able to carry the oil from one place or the other. India is demanding that it happens, but this this implication or this further sanction that the U.S. is putting on Iran is actually hurting and inhibiting the discussion efforts, I think, to move forward on this. I don't see why they can't hold back and think a little bit about more of negotiating the peace and how they can get milestones and give them some benefits for staying at the negotiating table and moving forward. Now, the U.S. has apparently started intensifying a buildup in the Persian Gulf, as we've been reporting. Reportedly, they're deploying underwater drones to hunt for Iranian mini submarines. How serious a threat is that to the Islamic Republic? Well, what's happening here, unfortunately, is that they're playing a dangerous game. It's almost like cat and mouse, who's going to run first or who's going to attack first. And what concerns me here is that if we're moving more warships there, that Iran is going to feel more threatened and there's more chance of triggering some kind of, of mistake there. And then we're going to see definitely a heightened escalation of violence in the air and attacks. Now, I don't know what um, they hope to achieve by putting warships ships in the region other than, you know, making or, or trying to make Israel feel safer. But in fact, this is, again, I'm going to say an extremely dangerous game mm. where it's almost, you know, daring somebody to strike first. This is the worry, isn't it? It's almost the worry that, that something could kick off almost by accident. Uh, and with the increasing U.S. presence in the Persian Gulf, how real is a possibility of a, of a naval clash in the region? Just take someone to pull a trigger by accident, misread a sign or a warning, doesn't it? Exactly, and it's very real because often communications and um, control and command don't go quite as smooth as we'd like it to. And the Iranian military in particular is organized a bit differently than the American military. So they could get an order that is not known or understood by some superiors um, within the Ayatollah's uh, government. So, you know, we're, we're not understanding again or doing our homework on what is happening within the context of the country that, again, we're threatening. We should be doing more negotiation, more diplomacy. I'd like to see Mrs. Clinton lead the State Department as Secretary of State instead of really promoting, you know, more war in the region and in the area. This has been dragging on, Patricia, for so long now, isn't it? I mean, Western intelligence now claiming Iran might be just a year away, 12 months from building a nuclear weapon. Tehran obviously is denying that still. Uh, overall, how could this confrontation at this stage, you've been banging on a bit for so long, Long be resolved given that neither side it seems wants to lose face at least well I nobody wants to lose face of course and we should not allow the Iranians to lose faith I face either we need to sit down put milestones on the table and be serious about these negotiations their negotiations they're not telling the Iranians what to do this is absolutely dangerous we don't really understand what's happening there. We made this mistake with Iraq where we said there were nuclear weapons in there weren't, and now we're on our way from making this mistake in Iran. The Israelis have been saying they've, they're on their way to nuclear weapons next year since 1994. So let's sit down and talk before we start pointing weapons at each other, which could really facilitate a large scale and you know, a large scale uh, conflict in the region that is threatening to pull so many players in. Thanks for your thoughts. Patricia Dugnier, professor of politics at New York University. Thanks for being on RT. My pleasure.